In the last video, we looked at some numerical integration on the TI-84, and we can do the similar kind of thing on a TI-Inspire calculator. You could certainly write a, a program of some kind similar to the one that we did for the 84 to show all the different uh, approximation techniques. But uh, like the TI-84, it has a built-in numerical um, calculator as well. Um, let me get to right thing I want to show you here. Okay, here we go. Here's a TI Inspire calculator and uh, here I've worked out uh, um, uh, integral. And so what you do here is to do this you want to press this little button right here if you can see where my mouse uh, cursor is moving here on the calculator next to the 9 key there's a button right here and this comes up right here that shows a little template for different kinds of of uh, things. There's a template for derivatives, for example, and one for integrals. And so we will click on this one right here, and we just fill in the blanks like you do on the newer version of the uh, calculator on the TI-84. So we'll put in a lower limit here, and maybe an upper limit here, or something else. We can put in a function here. Um, Maybe we'll do uh, 5x squared, and we'll divide by oops, x squared, and maybe we'll divide by e to the power uh, x. Well, let's do 5x squared times e to the x, let's say. Okay, and uh, we'll take the 2 out. Okay, and then this last thing is always x. So whatever your formula is, you put it in there. Okay, and you hit enter, and it'll do a, a uh, an approximation there. Okay, if you have the CAS version of the calculator, like this, and we entered in, say, the same thing, okay, so we, we hit the same button right there, located the same place, hit enter, so it looks the same. Did I get it? Oh, wait a minute, let me go down here. Try that. Go here, there, hit enter, there it is. Put in, say, the same integral, 2 and 5, and let's say 5x squared times uh, e to the power x, and then dx, look what happens here. It gives you an exact answer for this. Okay, let me make this so we can see the screen a little bit bigger. So this is what's on the screen. And notice you get an exact value. They might have E's or logs or whatever in it. And so we get that. If you want a decimal approximation for that, you can go back up here and uh, just say control and enter will approximate it. Let's see if I can get up to the thing first. Hit enter. Okay, there it is. And control and enter instead of enter will give you a decimal approximation. And that should be the same as what I got just a second ago here, see there on the non-cast version. So the non-cast version is kind of like the 84. It'll only do a numerical version, but the cast version will do some other techniques that we'll talk about later. It'll actually come up with a formula and use that formula to somehow get an exact value, or it can do substitute in uh, pro approximation of that, which is what you get here. So it's actually using a little different technique rather than Simpson's rule. But, in either, in either case, whether it's the, uh, the CAS or non-CAS version, you can do numerical integration, or at least integration of some kind, to get approximations with the TI-Inspire as well.